Hi, I'm Ritu Kumar and this is my library. I actually started developing a very large library once I started writing my book, The Costumes and Textiles of Royal India. And that is why it has some sort of format to it. Here we have books on uh, textiles. They're basically all textile books. Here are reference books, People of India, uh, different art forms. And here is the book that I did write and that is called Costumes and Textiles of Royal India. It has many, many images of royal costumes. And actually, during my uh, journey into re uh, researching for this book, I found a number of fascinating books, which I'll take you to. And these were from a library that was being sold in Calcutta. And this is the Indian Princes and the Crown, Asia, the King and Queen in India, Costumes of Hindustan, People of India again, and a large number of books here written by uh, travelers who came to India in the 17th, 18th century. I was fortunate enough to be able to find the original books and I got some very precious material from here. Now, if we come here, there are books on various artists. You have Dali and Art Nouveau, History of Art and uh, assorted books on India and the Rus. Uh, this is a book that I really did enjoy reading, which was William Dyrimple's The Last Mughal. And even his next book was a good one. And I think uh, it was great that he referenced my book and I enjoyed his book so much because they're very similar in a historic perspective. Here are some more books on art. There is Wandering of a Pilgrim in the Search of the Picturesque. This was by a lady uh, who lived here, an English lady in the 17th century. And she had a lot of very good things to say about the time that she lived in India. And it was a fabulous resource. Then we go on to fiction. And here we have a variety of books. There's Salman Rushdie that I like and Kiran Nagarkar who's very enjoyable. And then of course my biggest hobby is gardening. So you have one shelf with gardening books. Oh, it's a large book. Glimpses of Bengal. Another very old book which took me back to times when the British were here and they used to give people medals to uh, stay in power. Very interesting and uh, I guess uh, from a historical perspective, they're very interesting books that you could browse anytime that you are bored or wanting to spend a lazy afternoon. I enjoy reading and I'm sure most of you do. And none of us can really go to bed without reading a few pages. These are too heavy, but I think even small books and different books do add character and richness to our library. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.